What is going on, y'all? Fox Sports Talk back at it with another video talking, of course, some NFL and here to talk about the latest press conference that Bears quarterback Mitchell Trubisky just had a few days ago in which he said a lot of things, all right? He said a lot of things that were very interesting that I want to point out that I took away from this interview. So I'm going to go over all of those things. Before I do that, if you're new to the channel, guys, welcome and make sure to go ahead and subscribe. We're getting closer and closer to football season. The NFL season will be here before we know it. So you're going to want to stay tuned and subbed to the channel, okay? So make sure to do so and make sure that you are following me on all my social media platforms, my Twitter, Instagram, all that good stuff. Make sure you uh, are go ahead and subscribe to the Patreon if you want to support the channel. Links all, for all those things down below, okay? Grab my courses, all that stuff. So with that being said, let's get into it. Let's talk about the press conference now. So uh, a few days ago, the Bears GM, Ryan Pace and Bears head coach Matt Nagy, had their press conference, and I gave my thoughts on uh, that press conference and what I took away from that. And I want to do the same thing here with Mitch Trubisky, okay? He uh, came in front of the media and, uh, you know, addressed uh, the questions that the media had. And they had some pretty good questions, okay? A lot of the questions that I would have had if I had an opportunity to ask Mitch. And so let's talk about what some of those questions were, okay? First and foremost, the biggest question was his mindset coming into this season, knowing that he is going to be in a uh, battle with Nick Foles for the starting quarterback job and, and how he feels about that. And here's the thing, okay? Before I even talk about his answer, let me just say why it's important to watch interviews also, not just read quotes, because quotes don't give you the context, right? It's like reading a text message. You don't know the, the tone. You don't know if somebody's being sarcastic, if somebody's being serious, whatnot. So, you know, I read the quotes that Mitch had, and then I wanted to see the press conference because I wanted to see the tone, the body language. And I'm telling you, folks, Mitch has had this body language all off season, which has been a very serious, head down, put the work in type of body language. Like the entire press conference, Mitch is just looking down. I mean, it's a Zoom press conference, so technically I, I, I'm not sure if he's seen anybody on the stream. Maybe he is, but it's not like a live press conference where he has to look at people, so maybe that's part of it. But the whole time, Mitch is like looking down and being very serious with all the questions and just answering them, you know, obviously one after another, but he's got a very serious undertone to all these questions. The reason I bring that up is because it does tell you that Mitch is taking everything very, very seriously, okay? Look, if if you, uh, you know, are being very playful and you're laughing things off or you're being nonchalant, it kind of tells you, okay, you know, maybe he's not worried, maybe he's got it. And again, I want to preface all of this by saying none of the words, the quotes, all the body language won't matter unless he shows it on the field. Obviously, I'm talking about Mitchell Trubisky, but point being is we are not there yet. Okay, we're not there yet, so we can't even talk about that. So we can only talk about what we've seen so far. And from what I've seen in the press conference, Mitch looks serious. He looks like he's about his business, and he looks like he's going into training camp with a laser focus, knowing what I've been telling you guys all along, that this is Mitchell Trubisky's make-or-break moment in his entire NFL career as a starting quarterback. I'm not saying Mitchell Trubisky won't be in the NFL if he doesn't win the Bears job. But I am telling you that Mitchell Trubisky's days as a starting quarterback are over if he does not win the starting quarterback job with the Bears this season, okay? This could be Blake Bortles part two, right? Blake Bortles obviously is a backup now with uh, another team. And so Mitchell Trubisky sees that that could be a possibility. So he is literally fighting for his NFL career at this point as a starting quarterback. And so that is why it's so important to see how serious Mitch is this offseason, okay? So very serious undertone. So first question, obviously, or one of the first questions talks about, you know, how do you feel this offseason? And, uh, you know, there's a lot of the cliches that come about it, and that's fine, you know. It's athlete talk, like I'm just doing, doing the right things, blah, blah, blah. But Mitch says, I'm just trying to prove everybody wrong and prove my teammates right. Okay, that was a big quote that I took away uh, that he is obviously trying to prove everybody wrong because uh, the questions also also talked about the people that are doubting Mitch, people that, you know, obviously don't think he'll win the starting job. And 
he's saying, I'm trying to prove everybody wrong and prove my teammates right. Teammates that believe in him. I've told you a few teammates have come out and already said they believe Mitch Trubisky will win the Bears starting job. Tag in. Junior, the newest Bears receiver, has said he believes Mitchell Trubisky will win the Bears starting job. A lot of these guys, I know Mitch hasn't played well this past season, but they still support him, okay? So he said, you know, I'm just trying to prove everybody wrong and prove my teammates right. So obviously that's good. And then for me, uh, it's, and when he says it's, the criticism is very motivating, okay? And we've seen this before. He talked about it in an earlier press conference that, um, you know, he's been motivated. But in a good way. So the criticism that he hears, and here's the thing, folks, a lot of people think these athletes, they don't, you know, listen to the media, blah, blah, blah. They tune it all out. And for the most part, maybe uh, some do, but a lot of them, they hear it. They hear all the chirping. I'm not saying Mitch is on social media every day reading every single thing about him. Oh, but he hears what's said about him. He hears the national media saying Mitchell Trubisky's garbage, Mitchell Trubisky's this, he's that, the Bears messed up, Patrick Mahomes this. Deshaun Watson, that, and Mitch hears it all, okay? And so, again, the criticism, he's saying it, it's it's motivating him, so that's good. Um, and, again, nothing too crazy here. We've heard this before, how he's been motivated uh, throughout the entire offseason, so that's fine. But, again, I want to highlight the serious undertone. Um, and he also said, you will always have people write you off, and that just lights a fire, which it has for me. So, for all those out there that think this hasn't lit a fire within Mitch, you're wrong because it has, okay? Uh, and he's fired up and uh, he said, you got to make it happen. No excuses and that's true. No excuses. Nobody cares what you say. Nobody cares how you say it. They just care about how you play on the field, right? Simple enough, fair enough. Okay, so the next part of the interview was what I thought was the most insightful, okay? This is actually what I was looking for and this was something that I would definitely have asked Mitch, which was, you know, what have you done the in the offseason to improve? What have you improved on? What are the steps you've taken to obviously become a better quarterback? And this is where um, Mitch, even though he didn't intend to, did go into a lot of detail, okay? So basically saying um, he's done a lot of things um, in terms of improving, um, trying to get better balance in the pocket, which we know has been a major issue for Mitchell Trubisky. He's always getting happy feet in the pocket, footwork, Working on his footwork, I just mentioned the happy feet. Release of the ball, when the ball's coming out. You know, obviously you want to be able to get the ball out on time and on target. Um, and he feels more in balance and the ball is coming out accurately. Okay, so these are all things I have highlighted and a number of others, obviously, uh, that Mitchell Trubisky needs to improve on, right? Better balance in the pocket, footwork. It's very sloppy. Mitchell Trubisky's footwork is very sloppy in the pocket. And release of the ball, this wasn't as big as, as I believe the footwork and the balance in the pocket. But again, obviously that helps with accuracy. And so he feels more in balance. They even asked him about the training. Remember I made that video about the spear training where Mitchell Trubisky said his shoulder was imbalanced? Well, here's the thing. We got confirmation from Mitch that he was in fact playing in pain all last season okay he was playing through the pain last season he said he just had to battle through it and here's the thing I, I could see what watching uh the interview Mitch didn't want to say it because it would have came off like an excuse like oh yeah I was in pain that's why I didn't play well but it's the truth folks Mitchell Trubisky hurt his not throwing shoulder I get it it's not his throwing shoulder which would have definitely mean he would have missed games but he was not 100 percent and he basically said it. He said, I was not 100%. I had to play through the pain wearing the sling, but I just had to battle through it because he knew that nobody cared that Mitch was hurt, that they didn't want to hear the excuses. But folks, you can't tell me he wasn't hurt last season because he was, okay? And that absolutely played a part in him having the season that he did and him regressing, okay? So definitely said that about the uh, injury, the shoulder injury. So you can't deny it any longer. He was playing in pain. And then the other thing, in terms of his mechanics, okay? He said um, he finally adjusted his mechanics. Can you believe this? Mitch Strabisky said, I have never, ever adjusted my mechanics up until this offseason, okay? And I quote, I've never adjusted my mechanics, but working with him, he's talking about Jeff Christensen, who is a former quarterback in the NFL, and now he coaches quarterbacks. 
uh, the proper techniques. So he teaches them all of those techniques as a quarterback you need, you know, obviously with the footwork, balance, etc., mechanics. So, quote, again, I've never adjusted my mechanics, but working with him, Jeff Christensen, my footwork and mechanics have gotten a lot better. Okay, so he's literally saying, I've never adjusted my mechanics until this offseason, which is huge, obviously, because mechanics are a big part of uh, what Mitchell Trubisky has lacked in, okay? So he talked about that. Obviously, I said, you know, he's trying to work on his pocket, footwork release in the, in, in, in the uh, release of the ball, etc. And he also has said he's watched a lot of tape this offseason. He's gotten better at recognizing coverages. Another big issue because people always say for Mitchell Trubisky, it's not about the physical as much as it is about up here, right? The mental. Can you read a defense? Can you not lock on your first receiver and actually progressively go through your reads and find the other players, right? And he said... I've gotten better at recognizing coverages from watching so many defenses this offseason. All the mistakes he said he had last season, or a majority of them, I should say, were all easily correctable. That's what he said. They were all easily correctable, and he's going to do his best to correct them. So that is also good. But the main part, again, the fact that he never adjusted his mechanics up until this offseason, folks, that is crazy to me. Okay? So that is obviously a good thing. So to me... That was my biggest thing, and that was pretty much, you know, the takeaway. They had other questions about COVID and, you know, how the team has been handling that, and I, I didn't feel like that was as important as, as what uh, you guys and, and myself were looking forward to. We are just talking about how Mitch is going to prove as a quarterback this season, right? So, again, big takeaways, folks. He finally has improved his mechanics. He's working um, on, you know, his footwork, his balance in the pocket, getting the ball out on time. Uh, recognizing coverages. So literally every single complaint we've had about Mitchell Trubisky, what has, it, what has it been, right? Inaccurate. He's working on his mechanics to fix the inaccuracy. Footwork. Working on his footwork. Uh, you know, balancing the pocket. We just said that, obviously. Recognizing coverages. Reading defenses. He said he's been doing that. So literally every single thing that we've had uh, a complaint about with Mitchell Trubisky, he has been working on or tried to work on this offseason. You can't ask for much more, folks, at this point. Look, at, that's all you can do, okay? You can work hard at your weaknesses and try to make them strengths. Now, again, what did I preface this video by saying? None of this will matter unless he shows it on the practice field, obviously, and then on the, on the actual field in terms of the actual game. And so that is going to be the most important thing. But, folks, up until this point, because we haven't obviously gotten to the – the, the NFL season up until the, this point Mitchell Trubisky has done everything right everything right he has stayed out of the the media in terms of you know being uh in the media for the in, in the news for the wrong reasons he's just put his head down and worked all off season on all the mistakes and all of the weaknesses that we've known he's had and he's done everything that the Bears have asked him to do in terms of that aspect of it now it's literally the last step which is go out there and prove it on the field okay go out there and prove it on the field training camp is going to be where he's going to have that opportunity to earn the starting job because we have no preseason and then finally we'll get the games going so folks that is essentially what happened in the interview and obviously you guys know my pick to win the bear starting job is mitchell trubisky and i'll tell you this much after this interview and after watching it i feel even more confident in that i feel even more confident that mitch is going to win that starting job and uh, for all the reasons uh, that I just mentioned. So let me know what you guys think uh, about this interview and, and your thoughts on what Mitchell Trubisky said. Who are you rooting for to win the starting job? And I shouldn't say rooting for. We should root for whoever wins it, even if it's Nick Foles. I want, obviously, the Bears to win, so I don't care who wins the starting job. I'm just saying my pick is Mitchell Trubisky. So who is your pick? And if it isn't Mitch, why do you think so? Do you still not believe that even though he's doing all the right things and saying all the right things that he can still put it together. I think he can, but let me know down below as always. Thanks for watching.